Good morning, everybody. Today is Sunday, June 25th, day 122 on the Appalachian Trail. And I'm leaving Peakham, Peakham Notch Visitor Center and I'm headed to Carter Notch. I hope everybody's having a good Sunday. I'm headed out. I had two days off and uh, I've got good rest. Got ready to push to Katahdin. See, I sh cut my beard, cut my hair, got all a lot of cleaned up, clothes washed. I'm ready. So here we go. Headed to. Headed into the Wildcats today is the first thing I'll do and then go from there. So I'm uh, just gonna, gonna go six miles today. I thought it was seven, but it's six. This is called Lost Pond. I guess it's not lost anymore. I found it. It's pretty. Climbing up Wildcat. That's where I'm going up. That's where I gotta go up to. That's where I just came from. It's just a all forward climb. I got keep swapping my poles back and forth from one hand to the other and just hanging on to them and making this climb. It's humid today, very humid. It rained, started raining yesterday afternoon and it rained all into the night. And it rained a lot, it rained like it rained back home. And everything is just saturated and humid. All right, let me put this down so I can make this climb through there that's my next climb up through there Whew. gotta be careful here straight down hug this wall okay I gotta get up through there That's where I just came up. But I still gotta climb up through there somehow. I don't really know what they were thinking there. They wedged those rocks in there, it looks like, to make steps. I guess that's what they do, it did. All right, here I go. So I put my, I put my poles on my pack because there's just no way to hold poles. You need all fours. You just both hands and both feet to climb these places like this. Climbing up there, going up these rock ledges. But the problem with that is, it rained like crazy last night and the snails are everywhere. So I'm constantly grabbing a hold of snails out on the rocks. Slugs, they're everywhere. Just enjoying getting on the rocks, but I'm grabbing them. Every time I turn around and put my hand down, I'm on a snail, yellow and slime all over your hand. All right, got up that ledge, headed up another. There's the Pinkham Visitor Center. Can't tell it, but there's the mountains I came off of. There's some snow. 
I came off of three days ago. Still climbing this side of Wildcat. Got to get up here. Another. Still don't have my poles out. Still just hand climbing. Still climbing. See if I can film this. Number places like this in the whites where they they build these steps. Oof. I don't know if I can do this or not. Into the side of a rock ledge. Yeah. Here we go. Still climbing, still climbing. But look back, I just came up right there. Look at this view. That cloud's got the whole mountains covered over there. But there's thinking where I started. That's where I ate lunch on Thursday, right in that building right there. Fly the gnats are getting in today. It's beautiful up here, but you got to keep moving. The gnats are bad. Oh, biting gnats, not, not just the buzzing gnats. Hear that moose? Hear that moose? Well, maybe it wasn't a moose. Wildcat Express. All right, if you hadn't figured out, this is a ski resort called Wildcat. But it's an awesome view right here. And they're doing a little summer thing, letting people come up. I don't know if they're biking down or just, just up here sightseeing. All right, I'm on Wildcat D Peak, 4,038 feet is how high I am. And this is looking back toward Mount Washington. And on a clear day, we'd be able to see it. Uh, I don't think that peak right there is Mount Washington. We'll zoom in and see if we see towers or anything. I think that's, uh, that may be coming off of Madison actually right there. That's what it looks like. That ridge looks like what I came down off of Madison last Thursday. Whew. The gnats are wearing me out. I can't hardly be still. I bet that's what that is. But I'm not positive. And I would I would assume that in those clouds right there, just where I know the direction is, <laughs> I can't be still that that is where Washington is behind those clouds. All right, I gotta roll. 
Wildcat Mountain, 4417. Pretty rugged.